Hey everyone and welcome to Screams After Midnight TV Edition. I am Peter, that is Timmy, and we are of course working our way through Tales from the Crypt, uh, the original show from HBO. Uh, this is going to be Season 2, Episode 2. It's called The Switch. Nothing to do with Nintendo. I'm just po putting that out there. Uh, and this one is, bizarrely enough... Bizarre. <laughs> it's bizarre, yeah. But bizarrely enough, it is directed by Arnold Schwarzenegger, so... You know, take take that for what it's worth. And you know what? He didn't do uh, that bad of a job. Actually, yeah, I was kind of like, it was, it was very cartoony. But if that, you know, yeah. it's a style, and he he, he nailed it. Um, because we we make a point of not reading ahead about these episodes. We like to just put them on and not know who's in it. Any like interesting fact? We just like take it completely cold, so we don't know what's going on. And the opening of this, where the crypt keeper <laughs> introduces the show. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger just jumps in from the side out of nowhere and cracks a joke about uh, the Crypt Keeper uh, pumping iron and he introduces the tale and we were like well that's a really weird cameo why, why, why is he doing that it was cool but it was weird why and then yeah. it came up like you know 10 seconds later directed by Arnold Schwarzenegger I was like oh okay yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't appear in the episode uh, I mean he had the cameo in the beginning but like yeah. uh, I'm surprised he wasn't in the actual story I guess just appearing as himself in the Crypt Keeper but it was uh, more fun because it was just a mm -hmm. thing. Interestingly enough, the uh, the woman who plays Linda mm -hmm. uh, was his love interest in Twins. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't uh, know that. Which was a couple of years before that episode, so I, I guess that's maybe why she ended up being cast. Oh, um, that was, this, was, this was full of faces that I recognised but I couldn't tell you a single one of their names or where I've seen them from. The um the main character uh, I instantly recognize his voice, but again I'm yeah, not yeah. sure where it's from. I think the the butler. Uh, I don't know if you if you're a big Seinfeld fan. Um, oh yeah. yeah. But I think the butler played um like a a one of like Elaine's uh, earlier bosses, like before she was working for uh, Peterman. Um, I think she had an, another boss in it that I think he played. Uh, I, I forget what his name was, though. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I watched all the same film, yeah. which probably means I'm due a rewatch, re which uh, always worth doing. But, yeah, um, yeah he's like, I, I'm convinced I've seen him in other stuff, though, and I'm convinced mm -hmm. that I've seen him play a butler as well before, <laughs> elsewhere. He's just, he still looks uh -huh. like a butler. He really does. Uh, yeah. So this story is about uh, Clinton Webster. Or oh. Carlton Webster, sorry. Carlton, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, he. I didn't know if he said Clinton or Carlton because, <laughs> just like sometimes when you say stuff fast enough and with your accent, it's like I guess maybe that's <laughs> what he said. If I thought really fast enough, Tom, can I say things that are really nasty about you and you won't understand? <laughs> nah, those always pierce my soul. So <laughs> I'll I'll still feel it in my heart. Oh uh, man, I want to see what the <laughs> there's an automatic subtitling system on YouTube, and I would love to know what it said <laughs> uh, that 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 but it always gets what i say wrong anyway but especially for that sense <laughs> um but anyway yeah so it's about this uh carlton webster who's like a rich guy he's a millionaire got a big house but a butler and all that and he's lo in love with this woman uh i've, I've called her linda i think it was linda uh, maybe i'm wrong <laughs> no, yeah, it was, yeah yeah i'm going with linda and this no. story is so bizarre like the, the first scene of this story right he starts laughing manically for no reason and his butler asks why and he's looking at this photo of Linda and he's like oh I'm in love uh, and he's you know he's, he's going on about it and how he's going to marry her and the butler's like but wait a minute how are you sure that she doesn't just want you for her money or for your money and he's like no no I'm not going to tell her about my money I'm going to get her to agree to marry me without he's like oh jolly good so sure and then the weirdest thing happens go shall we open the drapes sir <laughs> It's like, yes, let's do it. And then they will start dancing around the room as they open the curtains. Yeah, I, I he has to be like an eccentric uh like millionaire that like I, I'm sure that the butler is just like, Oh man, he's in one of those happy moods, like I better like dance along and like <laughs> I don't know, he seems really into it and then you know, he throws up his hands and says something like Oh, uh, and Jesus praised the light that entered the room, yes. or something. It was something like that. It was like this over the top, ridiculous. And it was like, I was like, oh, geez, what are we in for? And I, I guess <laughs> at this point, I want to stop and say, I actually really enjoyed this episode. It was, oh, yeah, silly. Silly is all hell, but enjoyable, yeah. silly. So, definitely. It goes to see Linda. Now, oh, sorry. The first, yeah. the, the first major question I have is, how the heck do they know each other? 
Like, <laughs> they're clearly, like, they're not going out. Well, Han, before, but... you, before you ask this question, then let's give the context okay. of this scene where they, okay. they, we see them together. So he goes okay. to see her, and they're sitting mm-hmm. on the couch, and he, you know, Linda, you make me, sorry, I'll, I'll try and do the voice one. Linda, you know, you <laughs> make me very happy. Like, although, of course, I'm doing it in a Scottish accent because I, yeah. I can do an American accent, but I don't know if I can do American and the old craggy voice at the same time. That's, that's it's a, hard mixing the two, yeah. It's hard mixing the two. <laughs> and she's like, well, that's nice and all, but I don't know if, you know, I, like, you know, <laughs> you're so old. I mean, your face yeah. looks so old. You're wrinkly and, like, you know, kind of disgusting. <laughs> she is so <laughs> blunt with them. It is unreal. But to get to your question, Timmy, you've got a kind of a point. They don't seem like they're actually actively dating. It seems like he's just kind of stalking her and sending her flowers. Yeah, like, like he knows her somehow, uh, but she, like, she obviously doesn't know him well enough because she doesn't know that he's rich. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's like, what is their relationship? It is so weird. So he gets this great idea yeah. to go to a plastic surgeon and ask about, you know, making his face look a bit younger. And when the plastic surgeon suggests, you know, X, Y, and Z, he's like, that's not enough. I want to look 30. And the guy's like 70, by the way. Like, he's like, he's ancient. Yeah. He's ancient looking. And he's like, no, I've heard of someone who can do do this. So he gets recommended to this this doctor who's let's say eccentric and off the grid basically they roll up to this mansion and we see the lightning strikes as it's pouring rain and we see just the lightning light up and we see this <laughs> frankenstein-esque like yeah. maniac scientist in the window yeah he's a straight-up mad scientist yeah like there's no no subtlety about yeah. it he's, he's got heads floating in a fish tank <laughs> you know when, when we come inside he's got a servant yeah. who's like igor you know, it's like, yes, come in to the house, master, yeah. there's someone here, you know, like. Which, which is then never seen, like, throughout the rest of the episode. He's never seen, you know, I, I did that voice because that's what he makes me think of. You don't actually hear him speak. Yeah. He's like, just, he opens the door, he's got this big hunchback and he's like, yeah. this character, but then you never see him again. It's really weird. Um, And he, he introduces, the, the doctors, the scientist, the mad scientist, we'll call him the mad scientist. He... It's like, yeah, yeah, I can give you a, a 30 year old's face. You, you're going to have to pay like a million dollars for it. But, you know, and he's like, yeah, it costs a lot because, you know, we have to pay the person who's given up their face. And in walks Hans. <laughs> Hans, who's this, you know, 30 ish guy, you know, well built, you know, clearly in shape and all that kind of thing. And he's willing to give up his face. So they do the procedure. And what we get as a result is quite possibly the most <laughs> creepy special effect I might have ever seen in my life. I, do you have, I was going to ask you if you had any idea how they were doing this. I, I couldn't tell if it was like a weird, like some type of like special, uh, like makeup head thing he was wearing, or if yeah, they like it, digitally. It was, wasn't digital, not, not especially not on TV in 1990. Okay. This, this was clearly a mask. This was a mask okay. that had been moulded onto his face, and it looked absolutely like terrifying. <laughs> it was the creepiest thing I'd ever seen. And the really yeah. funny thing about it is, because he goes to see Linda with this new face, and it is disturbing as all hell. Yeah. And she's like, oh, you shouldn't have done this. You're still so old otherwise, and wrinkly, and, you know. And she's and like... Still- really- she, she's really blunt. It's actually, this is the funniest thing about this episode is every time he goes to see her, she is super blunt about what's wrong with him. She doesn't sugarcoat it at all. <laughs> and and he's still, like, he, he also just kind of, like, moves like an old man. Like, he kind of, like, hunches over a little bit and kind of, like, his head kind of, like, yeah. wiggles back and forth. Well, at this point, it's still the same actor. It's still, like, him yeah. with this mask on. And then he goes back to the doctor, pays an all two million to get the uh, the upper body, like, the arms and the chest. So he's got this six pack, and at this point, no, this is the weird thing: is it switches over to the other actor who played Hans to play him. So now his yeah. face looks normal. Yeah, and I guess they kind of get away with it because he does say when he puts the face on, it'll take time for it to settle. Yeah. So I guess they kind of get away with it, but it's still like, nah, <laughs> this is cheap. Go on. Uh, now, one one thing I I, I do feel it's kind of weird is that he seems like so against her uh, just marrying him, like for his money but like he doesn't really care like if she marries him like just for his looks like you know like if like if she's like all about money and that's no good but you know yeah, the, she's like super shallow and into looks like they're, they're equally as vapid although you could argue yeah. that 
the money's less so because at least that's practical. Like at least, yeah. you know, like yeah, she wants security. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, like you she's know. still not loving you for you. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's not really much point. So they, they are on the beach and they decide to go for a swim. So they get changed into the swimming, <laughs> and he walks out and his legs are still old and like wrinkly and whatever. And she's like, "Oh, your legs are so ugly and old and it's disgusting. I can't be with you like this." <laughs> So he gives up his butler, he's given up his fortune, Yeah. pays an all three million, uh, one per limb. Uh, although, does the penis count as a limb? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I feel like if you're like a third grader, you would make a joke about it being like a third limb or something, but... I don't think it don't know. is, though, because I feel like all like most mammals have four limbs, and you never ever yeah. hear the male referred to as having a fifth one. <laughs> I, I'd say it's an appendage, I guess. Which I, I mean, think there's a difference. Is it's, it's not a muscle? Um, or is a oh. muscle on it? I'm sure. I don't know. Yeah. This is our awful. <laughs> this is our awful understanding of biology, um, uh, which I never took in school. By the way, when I had the choice, I picked chemistry, so I never really did much biology in school. So I have an excuse. Yeah. That's my. That's, that's what I'm sticking to anyway. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so he, get, he gets the legs, but when he goes to find her, she's not in our house anymore. And this guy says, "Oh, she moved to this other place uh, with some guy." And gives him no, an address. It, no, can we talk about this real quick? <laughs> which part? Uh, the guy giving him the address. Oh, it just uh, handing it over like it's nothing? Well, first of all, it, yeah, it's just weird uh, for him to just... Well, I don't I don't know exactly why he would just like instantly have a piece of paper with her address on it. Yeah. Um, and then also, just the way he kind of... Yeah, like he goes to take it and he kind of like pulls it back a little. He's like, not so fast. Like he's going to ask him for money <laughs> or something. <laughs> But then he just like gives it to him. Uh, I don't know. I, it's just it's super weird. Yeah, and it's kind of obvious what the twist was going to be at this point. At least I felt it yeah. was like it was really obvious what it was going to be. But I've runs... seen this one before, so I knew. Yeah, he goes downstairs, and there's like these gangsters or like, <laughs> these these punks around his car with knives, and they're like, "Oh, this give us a ride," and like they're just going to rough him up. And he beats them all up and like throws one of them over the car as if he's got super strength. And I'm like, "Do wait a minute." He's still an old man in the inside. He's still, you know, like his muscles are. St- did they re- swap their muscles as well? Like, what's going on? I'm, I, I don't know. I yeah. mean, before when he was at the beach, he was doing like chin ups and yeah, yeah, lifting a lot of weights. So. Which I don't. Yeah. I still don't get. Like, it's weird. You, you he's still an yeah. old man. I don't. Mm, whatever. It's strange. <laughs> and the scene as well just feels like really out of place. Like, there's no point to it. It, it, it no, just. They're, they're... It, it, there's absolutely no point. <laughs> he, th- he throws them around, uh, sort of yeah. be- beats them up, and just leaves and goes to the last scene. But there's, and it never yeah. comes up again. There was nothing leading up to it. It's just there for no reason. It's like almost worse. Like was like we need an action scene, you know, like yeah, you know. Um, I kind of loved that the one he directed though was about like people getting muscly. <laughs> oh yeah, not a doubt. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> but. Uh, so yeah, he goes to our new big fancy apartment and of course she's like, oh, I'm already married. My new boyfriend has money, which is what I want in a husband because he like is you know financially secure and he can take care of me yeah. for the rest of my life. I'll be comfortable. His name is Hans and Hans walks out wearing his body and yeah. then his butler walks out. He's now serving him because obviously he has all of his money now because he could get yeah. paid for all the, the body parts and he just starts laughing manically and that's how the episode ends. Yeah. It, as I, actually, I quite like that. I like that it starts and ends with manic laughter. It's like bookended yeah. with that. Now, what's really bizarre... Uh, well, I, I mean, I guess not bizarre, but what, what's kind of weird about this one is like almost all the episodes, they always have that kind of twist, that Just Desserts ending, where like the you know character who's usually like a jerk or bad, evil person kind of gets their comeuppance. And this one, the guy really wasn't bad. No, like it, it was maybe a little stupid, but not yeah. bad. And she's <laughs> the one that kind of deserves the comeuppance almost. The, yeah. way she, the way she treats them is kind of awful. Yeah. So, and then like, and then like Hans like laughing maniacally as if like, you know he, uh, like I, well, I, stole, I don't know stole, like stole his got life. His <laughs> Hans got all his money, got the love of his yeah. life, got his butler. Like he stole his life. <laughs> but but like we never have like any indication that like Hans was like a bad guy or something. But he's laughing like a villain. Like oh, this was my plan all along. I finally 
you know, got my revenge on you. It's just like, oh, you, you just basically took an old man's money and girl and butler. Oh, dear. God. Um, <laughs> yeah, really, really silly, wacky episode with really, yeah. really goofy moments. Like, I started laughing so hard when we got to the mansion and the mad scientist is there when the lightning goes off and he's, like, looking manic. It just, oh, like, yeah. it made me laugh so much. Like, it was just... <laughs> Like, it's a fun watch. It's a fun, silly watch, but it's a good time. Yeah. It's a good I don't time. know, definitely. Yeah, I, I really like this one. It's um, yeah, definitely more on the silly side, but uh, it's it's good. It's an enter- it's entertaining. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, the second episode of season two of Tales from the yeah. Crypt. So, although I will actually say, uh, though, I was kind of bummed that Arnold didn't uh, appear at, on the like the bookend with the Crypt Keeper. I thought ah, that was right. a little weird. So it was going to like pop in. And- say something yeah, yeah. well because he he was the one that was telling the story but true uh, true I don't know. Uh, but there you go so that's uh <laughs> uh the switch uh again switch. no relation to the nintendo uh, nx which has been named the switch or yeah. just the switch um all right so yeah thanks very much for watching guys uh, we'll be back in next weekend with the next episode um, check out the movie reviews we're doing and stuff as well there'll be links in the corner thank you very much once again Uh, Like and subscribe, it helps us out a lot. We'll see you next time.